And we back! Today's video does not end until I go 82 and 0. You heard that right. The one rebuilder on YouTube who has never gone 82 and 0 will do it today. It has been the most upvoted comment on my videos for the last couple weeks, so it's time that I accept. But there is a twist. These are the settings we've done every single one of our rebuilds for the entirety of us doing rebuilds on this channel, 50s across the board. And like this, I have not been able to be successful. And I'll be honest with you, I honestly do not believe with those settings that I, I can't go 82 and 0. So here are the rules. Year number one is a grace year. It gives me the opportunity to build the team that I think that could potentially win the challenge. Year number two, we do it with 50s across the board. And if we're unsuccessful, then we lower the sim difficulty down to 40. And if we're unsuccessful that year, we lower it down to 30, then the 20, then the 10, then the zero. And if I can't go 82, to a no with sim difficulty on zero i guess technically this video will never end because it doesn't end until we do it leave a like and subscribe let's try it let's let's try it out y'all first thing on the agenda is the random selector team ignore the big old i don't even know who's whose figure that is ignore that we stop it at three into it at one we're running with the cleveland cavaliers today and the Cavs have the 28th overall pick i was hoping that they gave us a ringer a superstar player to start off with but we don't get that our cavaliers team as Adebayo, evan mobley marcus smart defensively we, we look real nice michael porter jr chris boucher okay so again we get a one-year grace period where i can do whatever trades i need to do to put us an opportunity next season to be on the actual challenge and what i want to do is go get a superstar to start off with our pick is only two star value are you serious this team pick is only two star value i i thought we was for sure going towards that lottery i need a guy like ja of 95 94 overall players i just don't have the assets i don't think evan mobley is a good asset but again by next season evan mobley is close to 90 overall that's a guy i want to keep on his roster i would be willing to give up bam in a potential trade like this but because of his contract because of Ja's contract this is gonna be rough and I think because of that, we might have to move on from him. If I go Trey Finder, the best we can get is Damian Lillard with that one first round pick. It's obviously not good enough because he starts to regress after next season. We need somebody that's younger or currently in their prime. We could trade up to Reed and get a first round pick. That's interesting. Lowry and that pick is actually really valuable. Ooh, should we be thinking about the value of these picks? We can go get Jalen Brunson and Chet Holmgren, which is another valuable asset. Or Pascal plus a pick. That probably makes the most sense. LaMelo straight up is actually kind of insane. Not a trade that puts us 82 and next season so it's not a trade we want to do so instead we're going to do the pascal plus a pick we're going to make pascal a four man oh his overall doesn't even change i could have swore his overall got up to 90 so we throw him and brandon williams together and that should get us a 90 in this Bro, the Lamelo one go keep peeking out, and I'm it's going every time I see it, I'm gonna be a little bit excited. But actually, it's not giving us no 90s. But instead, we could get 86, 84. That ain't worth it. We might as well keep that high overall. So right now we have Pascal Siakam as a piece, and if I throw Michael Porter Jr. and TB together, we should be able to get a, a 84. Four. Desmond Bain, that's something down the line, baby. That's something down the line. A second round pick get Brandon Ingram. Okay. Actually, I don't think we're going to see anything better than Brandon Ingram as a trade asset. Brandon Ingram in a second. Chumo Kiki's on the team. Okay. So now we got Pascal and Brandon Ingram as these two trade pieces. The only thing is that's $60 million together. So if we trade them away, we won't be able to go get Luka because Luka's contract doesn't kick in. Oh, it did kick in. Okay. Never mind. So we throw him. You give us back Mo, and then you give us back THT. You have to give one more person back? Okay, who's our cheapest player? Dennis Smith Jr. Okay, so straight like that, contractually, all of this makes sense. Our pick is now more value after those trades, which is a dub. The Knicks pick that we just got, and then plus one more. Luka Doncic is not coming to the team. It's not good enough. All right, not a problem. These are the trial and error that we got to go through. Remember, our goal is to go 82 and 0, something that I have not achieved in this whole cycle I'm not even thinking twice about bringing Bron in. Next year, he be trying to retire, but I'm using him and Jalen Suggs in a pick. Jason Tatum. See, this is what I'm talking about. Giannis. Obvious thing. Oh, wait, Chad is in this too? The obvious thing is to go get Giannis. But Tatum 24 has not hit his ceiling. Giannis, I can't say he has hit his ceiling. It's pretty close. Well, Giannis is literally the best player in the game. If you have an opportunity to get the best player in the game, you get the best player in the game. I'm going to take away this pick, though. All right, okay, okay. You got to pick. You got to pick. I'm sorry. I was, I was being a little too stingy. Bron, I appreciate appreciate you and what you did for this organization, man. We have Rudy Gobert and Chet together. That should be able to get us a third star to put alongside. I'm going to keep just doing trades to get first round picks and, and flipping stuff. So I'm here for the long run. I know this video is about to take me three hours to film. So just, just give me the time and I'm going to make the best of it. Oh my God. That's pretty good. 
I'm gonna try Rudy Gobert for Chris Stapps in a pick that's pretty solid. And then I'm gonna flip Chris Stapps hopefully for somebody that's cheaper and maybe a little bit younger. I don't know if that's even possible. Like a Sabonis deal is exactly what I'm thinking about. I'm not gonna accept it yet because I gotta look at all of my options, but that feels like the perfect trade for what I wanna do. So that's what we're gonna do. We got a first round pick lottery protected in that one too. So right now our treasure chest has Sabonis, Chet, and we're gonna go talk to this team about Ja. $13 million is what we gotta make up. So we will take on Will Barton and we got picks. One pick is not enough from the Knicks. Our picks aren't going to be super good, but I think I got a couple like pretty solid ones. Like this Pelicans pick, top three protected from the Jazz is not good. Any protection pick is not going to look great, huh? Uh, yeah, so we are still quite a ways away from getting a guy like Ja, which makes sense. It's just unfortunate. Shea, 24-year-old Shea. He playing in Toronto, though. This feels like a lot, doesn't it? Oh, okay. They even say no to that. Okay, we'll give you a pick. We'll give you two there we go. Shea, welcome to the team. The longest last name group of all time. Giannis Dedekumpo and Shea Gildas Alexander. And then we have Evan Mobley. I feel like I'm going to move Giannis over to the three. I've seen what his numbers can be at the three. So if I have him at the three, Mobley at the four, I brought in Desmond Bain as we normally do in a video like this because of the contract. And I have Shea. Chris Paul has to get moved for a starting center. So we'll go talk to the Knicks about Bam. And I got a bunch of picks. I'm not really worried about us not being able to get more of these. So I, oh, it only takes two. Bain is going to get better. Shea He's gonna get, get better. Mobley's gonna get better. I don't know about Bam. Bam's probably the same, but still, majority of our players in our starting five will hit 90 overall in at least a season or two. So I feel good about that. We need to put the right bench around them. Again, this is our grace year, so I shouldn't care too much about this bench, but I do gotta put us in a position. So I'm gonna make a couple more trades. All right, after a gazillion trades, we're here with our starting lineup. You saw we got John Collins, Kevin Porter Jr., Manuel Quickly, Walker Kessel off the bench, and some other people. All of those dudes I traded for for a specific reason to flip them eventually. Will we go 82 and 0 this season? Oh snap! Oh snap! Here come the boys. This was supposed to be the year. Okay, it's not the year, and we go back to back. Okay, this is our grace period. I think we put together good infrastructure to potentially go 82 and 0 next season. We got to do more trades come the off season, but still, I think we got things right. Uh, and I'll see y'all during the playoffs. I don't think it's too late to potentially go get this guy. He averaged a, almost a 40 point triple double to win MVP. Anthony Davis is something I wanted, somebody I wanted. We didn't even end up being the best team in the conference, I guess. We got one Cavalier, what else, what else? Just one Cavalier on the All-NBA team. And that's not that crazy. So we want a total of 58 games. So we have to turn in 58 games to 82 of them. Again, this is the infrastructure. We're relying a lot on like Evan Mobley and Shea's progression. We are in the final still and we won, so that's cool. But we're relying relying heavily on the progression of some of these dudes. And then I got to figure out, can we afford to rely on those dudes? Because even with his progression next season, when he's going to be 88, 89, is it better to trade him now to go get somebody's superstar caliber? Those are the conversations we have to have with ourselves. I don't think we're going to have a pick this year. And we do have the 21st overall pick from the Clippers. So we'll probably just flip that. But I guess John Conchar, since he's upset with his PT or something, John Conchar is upset. Shout out to my guy. Uh, let's get the young guy, Nikola Jovic. Why not? Let's go and figure out free agency and all of this type of stuff. Because again, like I said, I, I think we're still some some ways away from the 82 and 0. If we would have won 70 games this season, I say, hey, we gonna be solid. But we didn't even win 70. So I'm just gonna bring everybody back and then look at our options as far as trade pieces. The off season is the time to make those trades. So I will say that Giannis is up to a 99 overall, by the way, with the, with the boost. So that's dub, that's a dub. Like if I did John Collins, Evan Mobley in a pick, Lamelo is gonna keep popping. Trey Young again. I think that Evan Mobley is going to be there this season. Uh, upgrade to 88 ain't nothing. The Zion one is, is at least interesting, but I can't have Zion and Giannis on the team, right? Or do I not care about fit? Let's just see. We'll, we'll see how good Emo gets this next season. And then that'll determine whether or not we keep him around. I did bring in John Collins specifically to potentially trade him with Evan Mobley or Desmond Bain if we needed to. So I'll look at that as well. So Emo is almost 90. Desmond Bain is almost 90. Shea jumped up too. That's really good. This is tough to figure out exactly what we want to do. All right, I'm trying to put together some stupid old package to get on Jokic, all right? Wait, am I being finessed if I do this? Offer it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't do untouchables around here. Hey, they better learn. We don't do a toss was around here. Okay, I got to go change that. Mobe, Bane, Collins, Porter Jr., Chris Dunn. Wasn't it Chris Dunn? Oh, my God. I hate trades that the opposing GM says yes immediately because that means you got finessed. Ooh. Wait. Oh, I can get my boy Desmond Bane right back. I can go get Desmond Bane right back. Would I rather have Desmond Bane right now or LaMelo or Trey Young, you know? 
LaMelo, welcome to Cleveland, man. Right now, our big four is LaMelo, Shea, Giannis, and Jokic. Our bench is probably gonna be not so great, but I can go get Desmond back. We're gonna get Jaren. I'm keeping Giannis at three. We're playing big ball around here. Look at this lineup, six, seven. 6'6", six, 7'10", six, seven foot, six, ten, six, eleven. Jaren, I'm throwing you in the tray finder with a first, with the Thunder first to be exact. Evan Mobley is back. That's that's better. That's better. I got my boy Emo. I didn't want to trade him in the first place. I didn't want to trade him in the first place, and now we got him back. You probably would take uh, Jaren over Emo, but they're the same overall. He's an, actually a 90, and Jaren wasn't in a 90 overall club. So that's actually way better than what we could have imagined. I think in order to make this work, to go 82 and 0, you can't be running a 10-man rotation. I'm gonna have De'Aaron be our six man. I'm gonna do it. Just because, just in case we don't get it this year, at least I know next year De'Aaron won't regress and, I, and Kyrie will. So we just need to bid out a good eight. If we could bid out a good eight man rotation, then I feel like we can run. We need a wing and then a center. I'm gonna trade for Nurk, not because we want Nurk to be that center. We might trade him in a second. We need to go ahead and get more people on the roster, but everybody wants more money than what we could give. So we'll bring in Jetty Osman, we'll bring in Race O'Neal, we'll bring in Derek Favors. Oh my, Jared, we gotta go Jared. We have two all-star caliber players coming off our bench at sixth and seventh man. And now we got Jonathan Kaminga as a trade piece. Any time to go 82 and no, this is the run. This is the run, and you can say you was here. If we do it, I need the comment section to be spammed, I was here, because this is history. This is history on this channel. That's if we get it done. I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but if we get it done, this is history. Is Desmond a guy? Bro, that means I basically just traded Jokic for John Collins, because we got all of that back. So right now, our team is LaMelo, it is Shea, it is Giannis, it is Emo, it is Jokic, it is Bane, Fox, Allen, and we run at eight. And let's make sure that J.B. Vickerstaff is our coach, he's a good coach. But does he have the respect the two, from 2K? Let's see. Michael Stafford is there. I might have to fire my boy JB. Hey, I got number love for you, JB. But Michael Stafford was sitting right there. I'm at the fire whoever you are too. Yep, go get a great assistant coach for the low. Save a little bit of money here. Ooh, there's a lot of pressure here. There's a lot of pressure here. I got to make Jared Allen's backup position a power forward. And everybody needs a backup position. Everybody. Because if we're going to run it small, like a short rotation, we need everybody with the ability to play somewhere else. The scariest thing about all of this though, is that if we don't get it done, we still have to pay LaMelo. We're gonna have to pay Desmond. We're gonna have to pay Emo. I don't even know if that's even possible. 82 and 0. Here we go. All right. Literally, the, th the, the second week of the season? The second week of the season, we lose to James Harder, Chris Middleton, and Anthony Davis. All right. There's our run. There's our run. There's our run. There's our run. Okay. All right. So next season, we lower it down to 40 and hope that 40 is the way we go 82 and 0. Cause even with this God squad that I just built, it's not good enough. I thought we did it. I swear I thought we did it, but we were wrong. Jokic won MVP, which is really, really dope. Do we care about anything else? Oh, we traded away walk and you won most improved. So yeah, we're good. Lost four games in a season. Too many, four too many for this type of video. We get back to the finals, we against Jordan Poole and we sweep them. There we go, Jokic wins MVP. Here we go, trying to do everything, but now it's at 40. So we also have Giannis going into the last year of his deal. I'm gonna just assume that Giannis is the type of dude to stay around can we look at no we, we can't try to extend him right now this offseason so i don't get scared that he's just gonna walk all right we keep it moving Melo's out there in restricted free agency desmond bain is out there in restricted free agency as long as we don't renounce the rights of those two dudes Lamelo's trying to accept an offer from somebody else ha you thought my boy and then desmond's got nine offers none of them are good so we'll just give you the real what you dig except the des except the des boom okay so that's beautiful we brought them back Progression. Evan Mobley's at 92. Shea's at 94. Desmond stays at 88. All right, Des. <laughs> Just because you got that many, don't don't think that you're safe. All right, we also got to make sure that Giannis is like, hey, I want I want to stay around. That's my Giannis impression. That was very, very, very poor. My fault. Cleveland's where I want to be. Beautiful. That's all I need to see. I didn't even need to see the rest of that sentence. Okay. So what do we want to do? We want to see Desmond Bain's trade value. Just just because we always got to see if we can make the team better. The answer is not really. So Desi at an 88 is gonna stay. Tyler Hero. That doesn't. It's the same thing. But we. Exchange of first round picks. All right, let's try to get Giannis to stay. You don't have enough room under the hard cap to sign Giannis. I set myself up, didn't I? If we lose, then I might trade him. That's if. You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what we gotta do. You know what I'm gonna do, one last thing. I'm gonna make sure I sign the best at everything in our coaching staff. Everything is the best. Everything is the best I could get. Somebody told me this type of stuff matters. I never believed them until now. Just like that, we have the perfect coaching staff and hopefully 
with the 40 sim difficulty, this is easy. Let's see the difference between 50 and 40 when it comes to simulation. So far, so good. At this point last year, we had already lost the game, so that's a good thing. It feels cheap though. Like if I succeed right now, I still don't feel, I'm still not adding it to my resume that I've done it. Cause obviously we had to make changes to the settings to make it done. If this goes 80 to a no, I will be excited, but not as excited as if I did it organically with our 50s across the board. And part of our agreement, when you clicked on this video that you was gonna see us get it done. Not that we get it done with the 50s. All right, so we are 28 games through the season and we have still been undefeated. Nobody's even been extremely close. We win it so so much, 2K is lagging. So we about to get into some weird territory because if we go, we lose our first game after the trade deadline, we basically lose Giannis for nothing. So if we gonna lose, do it now. So I can flip Giannis for like Jason Tatum or something. You gotta lose now if we gonna lose. If we not gonna lose, hey, go 82-0. I'm not gonna tell you to do anything other than go 82-0. But like, if you are gonna lose, do it now. Halfway through the season and we're there. Halfway through that 82-0, baby. Just, just replicate everything you've already done and we're there. And we've done it for the first time in the history of KOT4Q. We are actively breaking the game too. This stuff has lagged behind like every single day. 51 and 0, 52 and 0. Oh my God, that game was extremely close. Whoa. Oh snap. That's some scary stuff. That is the closest game we've had by far. We had another single digit game up here, but it was still, you know. Oh boy. Can we go against the Hornets again this season? Oh my God, the Hornets got our number. Here's the deadline. Do we trade Giannis? Absolutely not. Keep it going. I feel like I'm on a game show. No deal. That's, that's what it is. Get deal or no deal. NBA 2K. Sounds like a YouTube video that we do later this month. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. It sounds like a YouTube video that we might be doing later this month. 69, 7, 70, 70. We are in the home. My heart is beating like out of my chest right now. You would think I was watching my favorite team in a game seven down by one point. Two games to go. Ladies and gentlemen, 82 and no has been done. It does still feel cheap, I will say. It does still feel cheap, but I'm taking my dubs, baby. Jokic averages a triple-double on 50-40, 80% shooting. Brandon Ingram is a six-man somewhere. He could have been a six-man hill. Walker wins most improved back-to-back -back seasons. What the heck? So he went from five to 11, then he went from 11 to 14, and then we're like, hey, he's also shooting three. Shout out to Walk, okay. 82 and 0, man, 82 and 0. We went 82 and 0, and then 16 and 0 in the, in the playoffs? The answer is yes. 82 plus 16 is, ni is 98, right? Ni 98 and 0. Thank God we didn't lose Giannis, bro. That was something I was not looking forward to. He wanted to be in Cleveland. We just ain't got the money. We'd have to trade everything to get you the money. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Just comment down below. I was here, baby. We did it.